It's like okay. <laughs> Y'all, I am so angry. <laughs> Never in my life have I been so mad. I've been unboxing something, doing a video, and I didn't even get to show y'all any of it. Like, it wasn't recording at all. Oh my god. I'm over it. I can't. But I'm going to continue anyway. You know what? I'm a fighter. I'm a hustler. I'm I'm a I got to continue because I'm, I'm going to do this video. And I promised y'all I'd be uploading every Sunday. Bear with me. I am so stressed. I'm so frustrated. Oh my god. So... Today, I'm gonna be talking to y'all about the Poopsie Surprise Unicorns, which I have been obsessed with lately. Um, this one I have is Oopsie Starlight, and so I got this one a couple days ago. Um, my boyfriend actually found them at Target, which I was begging for him to get them before we actually found them, because I was like, oh my god, like they're in stock. So. Long story short, I have been a part of the toy community for like the past eight years. Y'all can think it's crazy, y'all can think it's wild, y'all can think it's childish, I don't really. It's a way bigger market than y'all realize, so those of y'all who wanna really talk, wanna talk and talk about like things that are business-wise, toys will make you more money than you will ever make in any other industry. I don't care what anybody tells you. Anyways, these little poopsie surprise pets are by MGA, which is the same company that makes LL Surprise. I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with LL Surprise. It's one of the biggest franchises at the moment. And so the whole premise is- Okay, the unicorns that poop slime. It's like, okay. <laughs> And what you have to do is you feed them here. I've already unboxed everything and I'm so mad about it. But basically you take these packets. This is not the packet, but you feed them the slime and then uh, some glitter and everything. You shake her up and then she poops out the slime. You, and I need a wig like this. Like, could you imagine the pastel dream? I have all these hot pink wigs. I suddenly need something new. Something new. They also sell blind boxes, which are smaller and a lot cheaper than the Poopsie Surprise Unicorns. These are $60 at Target and $50 at Walmart. They're very into pop culture and pop culture references. So as we can see here, one of the blind boxes is a Starbucks Frappuccino. And on the side, it says Poopsie. It's like signed um, and it has like a little poop emoji. A couple packets to make your slime. And then it comes with a charm to store your slime in. And you can store your slime in either one of these, but um, see as this is like an Audrey Hepburn breakfast at tiffany's moment and again you put your slime in here so you can like carry it around people who are into oddly satisfying things will really enjoy things like this it takes the shape of the slime and everything i don't know i just think that it's a really cool gimmick that they have going on here that being said we missed the entire actual unboxing of what i was doing so i went here and i was you know genuinely unboxing it here and None of it was recorded, so I am a little mad about that already. Maybe that's why I seem a little pointed in this video. Here is our Poopsie Surprise Unicorn. This is our Poopsie Pet here. I am so excited to have Miss uh, Rainbow Star right here. She is super cute. Um, their hair type for people who are toy collectors, the hair type is po polypropylene, which is... Um, probably the lowest grade of hair on the market right now, but it is really soft. Um, and for things that aren't like dolls, I understand, but at the same time, it's it's kind of like the lowest grade of hair. So for them to be charging $60 is a little crazy to me. I don't know where that price comes from because it's not like they come with like all that much. They're not electronic. I could see a lot of people getting these for Christmas and kind of be like, why was this so expensive? It's still fun. It's really cute. So obviously I continue to buy them. I think that the price is a little pricey. So, what we see here is a cup. So we have a measuring cup where you're going to fill with water to make your slime. And then it comes with a spoon to feed her to make your slime. And basically what this is, this is supposed to, it's kind of a toothbrush of sorts. So what it is, is as we can see her little mouth slot here is wide open. Mouth wide open. And you would use it to clean out any slime that might get stuck in there while you're making it. So here are the instructions, which we don't need because I already kind of know what to do. Oh my God, I need a wig like this too. Come through, Rainbow. Oh my God, gigs. Um, she also comes with a little toilet here with the cup in the toilet. She did come with clothes. But in order to show you guys how this kind of works, I'm going to need her to be naked. So first on the back here, we can see there's a lot going on. There is two different modes on her back. None of it is electronic. We have to remember that she does get wet. It's slime, so I'm assuming that's why they didn't make it electronic. Not 100% sure why, but I'm assuming that's one of the big. Back here, 
there is like it looks like a rocking mode and that's when you rock her back and forth to make the slime a little bit more thick and then on the other side is feeding mode which you would put on when you're feeding her. it is a little bit hard to press when you first buy it and even after you buy it like i feel like after you buy it it just doesn't work like i feel like once you once you undo everything it kind of goes downhill from there also so here's her butt hole her butt hole and it is shaped like a heart could you imagine having a heart-shaped butthole? I know I'm saying butthole weird, but it's just kind of like an inside joke thing. But anyways, um, so here is her butthole, and it is shaped like a heart. Very interesting. And the gimmick, it's just, it's a little, people are a little grossed out by it. They're a little uncomfortable, especially because of the colors that they use. It's like, okay. <laughs> it's like, I'm just gonna say that, it's, you're gonna have to watch and, and see. You're gonna have to wait and see this because it's, it's a little it's interesting to say the least, but it's fun, it's a fun time. I wanna show you guys how you're supposed to do it, but it never really works. Like it never actually works to fill her or to feed her in through her mouth. You just don't get the same effect. Like you barely get any slime. I'm sure there's a million reviews on YouTube if you wanna watch how you really do it, but this is how you really do it. Like really, really do it. Like how you make your slime. So in the back here, open up her butthole which is, this is her real butthole. And basically what you do is you take out this, it's her stomach of sorts. This is supposed to be like, oh, interesting. Mine didn't have this little nub. No wonder my other one doesn't work. The cup she comes with, which is squeezable. Now, the first step is to put in the unicorn shimmer. I actually put the unicorn shimmer in last because I think it makes it so much easier in terms of the slime. So we're gonna open up the packet of food here. You are gonna pour the entire packet into the cup. Take the little cup that it comes with and there is a fill line. Not like to the brim, but to the fill line at the top. Put it on inside. Okay, so we're gonna get pink slime. Put on the lid. Put your finger over the straw because it's a real straw and shake. And I would say shake for 10 seconds. It says 30, but shake for 10 because otherwise it does harden. And dump the mixture into the stomach, which is what this is, like the blender thing. Now we take our unicorn shimmer, which is literally just glitter. It's all it is. <laughs> and put that into this cup here, into the stomach is what I keep calling it. So put it into the stomach. Now it's just kind of sitting at the top and make sure she is on the shake mode. Otherwise you are going to be screwed and make sure that her belly button is pushed outwards because if her belly button is pushed inwards, everything is gonna come out and you're gonna have a big mess. And a test I learned to know which mode she is in is by blowing into her mouth, kind of like a straw. And you'll see like if it goes all the way through, like through her butt basically, and be really careful. This is kind of, it, this always bugs me because it does kind of spill clip it into place, you should hear it click, and then close her back. So, now that she, there, it's in there. You wanna be kind of fast with this because it does start to harden and then it just, it's not gonna come out of her butthole. That's all, that's all that's gonna happen. She won't be able to poop it out, she'll be constipated, and you're gonna have to take out the, the stomach and manually let it dry. So, shake her up a little bit. I don't like doing the cartwheel thing, it does kind of spill inside of her, so. We're not gonna sit her completely on the toilet, otherwise you won't be able to see. But you're just gonna put her, align her butt with the toilet cup and press. And nothing, see, girl, it hardened. She's constipated. Is it coming? No, she's constipated. <laughs> see, it just don't always be working. See, it, it already started to jellify inside of here. So it was too late by the time I tried to do that so it's stuck you just let all you can do when that happens is set it down and let it dry we're gonna try this again this time a little faster and shake let's shake for a little bit less make it really liquidy and dump, dump it into a closed stomach <gasps> oh my god girl it spilled all over the floor i cannot i knew that was gonna happen thank god i put it over there on the side It spilled on my floor. Girl, it's already dripping. It's already starting to drip. I just cannot, I cannot. 
all right, that's enough. I just can't take any more. I cannot bear any more stress with this girl. So uh, I think I kind of just proved that they are a little bit of a fail toy. But I swear, it's not just the fact that I'm doing it not the way it advises you to, because it worked before. When I did it the way that it advised me to, there was so much slime stuck in the mouth that like it wouldn't go through. Like, ugh, I wish I had proof. Like there's nothing like uploading a video without receipts. Like where's the, where's the proof? But one thing I can say is that I is the slime. You can get some, you know, slimy slime out of the poopsie surprise slime. So here is the little canister it does come with. Then you pop open the bottom and it's a hollowed out hole and then you fill it with your slime. Let me know, would y'all buy a failed toy like this? Like, I just feel like that was just so stressful. Like that was the worst time of my life. It didn't record. Y'all didn't get to watch me unbox the little ASMR moment I had. She wouldn't poop in front of y'all. Like I was able to get her to do it on Snapchat. So I included those little clips cause I got my receipts on that, but. Wow, that was wild. I'm done. Day's over. Oopsie Surprise got my wig flu. Get it out my damn face. I can't take it anymore. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts. <laughs> See ya.